All right, y'all. So we're jumping into the next part, man. So she's she's actually on him. She she's definitely on him. I I see uh why some people was feeling the way, but I mean at the end of the day, she's saying all the things that is actually. I, I would I would say the same things. I would say a lot of the same things, you know. So it, it's like she's asking very valid questions. She's saying she's making very valid statements. Like like she's gonna jump in and say, uh, you would have to get people to care about AR because no one cares about AR. But at the same time, when it comes down to that, I don't think that that's necessarily VV's sole job to do. I think that AR as a whole is gonna become a lot more um, popular because of like apple creating their their device like it's like this stuff is going to become more popular it's going to become it's going to be more things out there to use ar4 so people are going to be enjoying it a lot more pokemon go was just a test run but it's going to get a lot more immersive it's going to be it's going to become a lot better so yeah i think that i think that she's putting a lot on vivi with with that statement necessarily but yeah anyway let's jump in which, by the way, means all means you would have to get people to care about AR to come in and do that. But here, but here is and also Vivi is on more so of a 10, 10 plus year outlook type of thing, like five, ten, and even farther outlook than a lot of people here who's invested. Because investing, you're giving three, five, ten years, maybe. Vivi as a company is trying to figure out how to last 20, 30 and become like a Disney type brand type of, you know. So yeah, like their their outlook is a lot longer as well. So the 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 world is going to change and people are going to that. So that's not something that I think Vivi necessarily has to worry about. I think they have to worry about actually making content worth being consumed. Like what can you do with these collectibles? What can you do with these this experience? Because everyone's going crazy about taking pictures with them and putting them inside of a showroom that's not going to be the case forever so where are you trying to get to is more so a question that i would care about my this is Mo, this is a mona question when i look at vivi there is so much potential and there's so much opportunity but i still can't put hmm. my finger on what vivi vivi's direction is to be honest with you is when you look in in the future is vivi a marketplace for digital collectibles is it uh, you know will is going more toward an interactive playable uh features and experiences when i look at v when i look at will's model i see exactly the direction he's going but when i look at vivi hmm. i am a little puzzled can you Exactly. Exactly. That's and that's a hundred percent fair. Where does the Omi token fit into Vivi now? Like, is it just going to be Omi to NFT? You can buy NFTs with it. Is there going to be a metaverse where you can play things and now you can use the Omi token? Like, when you Vivi has so many different layers and so many different things, and then they promised Ready Player One, and it doesn't look like they'll be capable of delivering Ready Player One. So, what are they going to be capable of delivering? Like, how do all these pieces fit together? When you look at Vivi, you see the pieces. It's just pieces. You see that we have the Omi token. You see we have the NFT. Some NFTs is doing well. Some NFTs is valuable because it's the first appearance of Batman, first appearance of Spider-Man, first appearance of this comic. We see a bunch of pieces. But what is Vivi? Like, what is it going to be? Is it just going to be a glorified showroom now when it comes to the metaverse? What's the experience? Are we just going to have an AR game that's going to be up and coming? Like, where? what's the status and update of the AR game? Like, what is Vivi? I think that that's a hundred percent a fair question. So I don't know why people were so bothered by her asking this question because it's not clear at all. Is is Vivi has too much going on? You you hear you hear when Will talks like people can criticize him all you want. Oh, crypto is this, crypto is that. The reason you got to start downing and bashing crypto is is because Vivi, Vivi it's not clear what Vivi is. You why, why put hostility towards Will? Because he has a clear direction for what he's trying to do. I'm not sitting here arguing if he's going to succeed at what he's trying to do. I'm. It's very clear he knows what he's trying to do, though. What about Vivi? Has regulation tainted the vision so much y'all don't even know what y'all want to do? Because when you look at the project, it's not clear that you all know what you all want to do. You're four collectors. What for? Like, like what? What is just, this? Just the whole things digitally? Is it just going to be a digital wallet that's fancy and you can go inside it with the AR capabilities? Is that is that VV now, or is it still Ready Player One? Is it still all this that stuff? But it, that's just farther in the future. Like, is this is really this is a really great question to be honest.
Can you bring some clarity as to what the direction is? What, what, because at the end of the day, exactly. She asked for clarity of the direction. One thing that everyone knows when it comes to Vivi is there's a lack of clarity in almost every category. There's a lack of clarity. This is reasonable. I don't know why people was tripping about this, trying to make it seem, see, this is the moon boy effect, man. Trying to make it seem like it's something that it wasn't. Today, we can only focus as business owners. I'm a business owner. We get to focus on one or maybe two things. So what is that one or maybe two things for you? Yeah, so right, right now. I don't think that Vivi is a business that focuses on one or two things. And yeah, like, let's see how he answers this, though. But I think that she she limited, she's limited to what her experience in business is. But Vivi is trying to create something that started off with three things. It's like you got the Omi token, you got Vivi, you got the metaverse. That's three things from the jump. And then they're supposed to just be working in sync together. Like, that's that's essentially what we were sold. Now, we don't know if it's still going to be that or how it's going to be that or if it's going to be limited in some ways. But, yeah, it's already starting off ahead of what she would consider being a business owner from her perspective. Now, VV is the premium place for all digital collectible branded licensed product. That's number one. Number two, very, very simple, is that we are trying to understand what make try to build that one segment where our users like and love and i talked about it in other segment and other podcasts about the byproduct and the next generation where this is going to lead to us and we are bringing that immersed experience through metaverse or through wearable device uh the ar it sounds to me like basically it sounds like what he's saying is that they're trying to start in stages and they're focusing on trying to get one stage right first, trying to get one thing perfect before trying to move on and add another stage to it, as opposed to having a bunch of stages out all half assed. So that's what I just took from that very, very briefly. I feel like that's what he's trying to say. Um, but this is also why it's important to have a, a communicator. This is why it's important to have a communicator, because if someone just said that it would be a lot more understandable than me just come to that conclusion because i don't know if i've heard that based on my knowledge of vv and everything going on or if i just heard that because that's what he communicated so it's kind of like i may be filling in blanks and filling in pieces based on things that i know without even knowing that i'm doing it so that's the problem like with will i know nothing about i know nothing about cryptoids at all i don't look into it i have not done, done any research into cryptoids so when he's communicating the vision, I can clearly understand his vision from a place of being a complete noob because that's just how well he communicates it. I don't think v if I didn't understand Vivi, I don't know if I would be under. I don't know if I would understand if I didn't know as much as I know about Vivi. Element and the video capturing element is really a additional utility and, and to be as close to that storytelling with you, with that character. And that's what Vivi brings you. Uh, and we are just the number one when it comes to premium digital collectibles. Okay. So the the marketplace is the obviously the current like the premier marketplace you're saying, and then you're saying the future is you know if these hardware technologies or these software technologies end up getting mass adoption like AR wearables to wear fashion and these sorts of future technologies are more adopted then you guys are positioned to take advantage of that if and when that happens in the future. Yeah. Is that fair to say? Yes. Um, so, I mean, uh, so in the history of, uh, and I keep using the word segment, we, you know, we're good at something and how do we move on from there and to expand? Uh, there, there's probably... A yeah, basically he's trying to figure out the next steps for Vivi. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> They don't know what they're doing. So they know uh, the overall direction and vision that they want to go in, but they don't know the steps to take next, like the next steps. I think that it's unclear which step to take next, like which steps and what order they're going to. I, I don't think that they know the order they're going to go in. Like, I feel like if you ask Will, but to be fair, he's working on a very much smaller scale than Vivi. But if you ask Will where they're going and what their next steps are, he can probably list out their next steps exactly and what they need to do to accomplish what they need to accomplish. I think VV is so complex, no one fully understands what's needed next because you can't. 
the Omi token is involved. You want the Omi token. Well, that's they said they want the Omi token to be at a, the core of everything that VV does, the VV verse. They want if the if they really want the Omi token at the core of all of this stuff, regulations has to become more clear around that so they can be included. Because you can't just start doing things with it without clear, clear boundaries and, and restraints for what you can legally do. So VV is a lot more complicated. So I don't think that they're even in a place to answer certain things. But that again is where it comes down to communication. Because if they would communicate publicly that this this is these type of scenarios is the reason that they're not in a place to answer stuff like this right now, people would get it. People would understand. You can break down the uncertainty and everything and bro, communication, bro. Communication. A dozen or two dozen company in the world that does that very well. And give you an example like Amazon. When you first heard of Amazon, you think about their e giant commerce. They then moved to digital reading books. Now their biggest part of their growth in business is the AWS. So the byproduct from what it was Amazon has now become a commercialized, you know, cloud-based solution provider. Vivi is going through that. We understand our core value of our customers, what they want. We're building segments around it to basically ensure that we we bring those vertical into our ecosystem. And, and that ecosystem is about fandom. People will love to collect music. People love collecting art, trading cards, crypt toys. People love pins. Um, what, how we start. This was actually a very good answer so far. Like, uh, this is a very good answer. And it brings some clarity. It, it, it brings a lot of clarity to the fact that what I, because what I get from this, what I'm interpreting from this is that even though it's a lot of stuff that they don't know, they know what they're good at. And they're trying to build around that for now, trying to get that right for now. And so more clarity comes in other areas. And then they're trying to figure out the best steps to take to move forward into the other verticals and into the other segments that they're planning to add when it comes down to VV as a whole. So I think basically we're still at the beginning, essentially. But all these years later, we're still at the beginning. And I know a lot of people wouldn't be bullish about that because it's been so long. But I, it's a reason I always said 10 years coming in. But to be fair, we damn near coming up on that, and they done checked off one thing on a freaking a list that they put out. So <laughs> it's like, bro, we I don't even know if we hit phase. We still ain't fat past phase one of the little. See, it's just the over promising, the over promising, under 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 delivering. But they are learning from their mistakes, is what they're saying. But you can communicate certain things better. You can communicate certain things better. I feel like. But this is actually a well-communicated answer so far. Let's get back to it. It's about fandom. People will love to collect music. People love collecting art, trading cards, crypt toys. People love pins. Um, what, how we started was premium digital collectible. When people open up their app, they're able to see that collectible in 3D, augmented in front of you, take a photo, upload it. Our mission as a startup in 2017 was very simple. If a picture that you upload to a social media can create people to talk to you, become a communication way, and bring that fandom together, that was our first step. Then we saw the community came together and we felt that that community wanted more, that, you know, that emotional value beyond just living in a digital mean. We felt that there are new things that we could be building that would be meaningful. And that's what Phoebe is doing now. Uh, we are segment, you know, part of our business into new verticals and taking that and into to tomorrow. And then, you know, what, what you see Phoebe today is probably not going to be the Phoebe you see in five to six years time. Um, and that's what we want to do. That's the type of stuff I need to hear. That's the type of stuff that I like to hear. They still have vision. They still have direction. They don't speak on it. Like if you make certain things more clear like this, this is good. Like the VV you see today is probably not what you're going to see five to six years from now. That means that there's going to hopefully be some progression and elevation because we know that they want to perfect what they're doing right now, which means right now is still going to be a part of VV. They're just predicting that by then it's going to be a lot more added to it where when you look at VV, you're not just seeing the same thing you've been seeing, but you're seeing a lot of progression. So I know a lot of people have tied a lot into this bull run when it comes down to VV, but 
I think that what they're trying to build is going to take a lot more time. But hopefully, hopefully they can they can pull it off, man. Especially for any competitors start to come in and really go hard. Like any business, you're going to own that segment for a couple of years if you're very lucky and good at it. Unless you're going to be bigger and come up with better idea, you're going to get old. Just like stamp collecting, like I mentioned before, we're taking this audience of young um, stamp collectors into a digital format, which have never been thinking about it. If in, two, in 1995, if you say one day people are not going to be collecting physical stamp, they're going to be collecting digital stamps, you're probably going to be blown on your mind to go, well, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, but David, sorry, I want to interrupt you it, here. How, don't you think the physical product is very important here to lead people into the digital? I mean, mm -hmm. we see Will here uh, and Pudgy Penguins is a great example. What? What's she talking about? Why she just cut him off to say some bullshit? Like this, 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 this was unneeded. This was unnecessary. And, and cause she, now she's going on a rant about physical and we talking about digital. I mean, physical exists already. And no, it's not an important part to lead people into digital because we didn't need any physical items for VV to blow up and become the number one at what it does. Did we? So that, that pretty much answers the question itself. Yeah. Physical is important to collectors, but the whole problem that VV is solving is the whole problem that they're solving is the the not space for physical shit Th this is all about moving collecting digital so what are we talking about the importance of physical people know what physical collectibles are that's those are the people who love vv what, what are we talking about this is like this is basic this is the basics example of that there and that's i go back to my original question of how are you going to get all the people to come into the ar to experience and interact with the digital product don't you think and and will maybe this is a question for you don't we need that tangible product to to bring people into that digital environment that you're vivi has already brought millions of people well, i don't know about that like they was tweaking but VV has already brought a lot of people, hundreds of thousands of people into the, into this environment without needing that. What VV needs is marketing. What VV needs is QR codes associated with Marvel movies. At the end of a Marvel movie, put a QR, right at the beginning, QR code, VV. Buy this, uh, get, get this associated for, for seeing this movie. Like, that's what they need, promotion. They've never done large scale real promotion. They've never done that. So, no. You don't need some type of physical product for people to start appreciating Vivi. Like, personally, I'm not the type who's going to buy many physical products. So, yet I would still buy things on Vivi if it was worth my time. There's no utility, so I don't care. I'm a gamer. So, I'm like, nothing on Vivi is exciting to me. Um, yeah, but, yeah, like, what's she talking about? Describing and ultimately you're wanting. I, I think there's lots of different ways to do it, but to, to, to credit to David, I know David is a massive physical collector. It's never been physical or digital I for heard. David. If you look at his his background on many of his streams, he's got a, a very impressive uh, physical collection. And David, I just want to you know give you your props and flowers for the amazing partnership you did with Funko to, to build a, an amazing physical that had a digital redemption to it. I thought that was tremendous, incredible for the entire space. Uh, I do think uh, we need to kind of thread that needle a little bit and i think you know vivi's making some great inroads there with what they did uh with funko and then also what they did with the uh, the partnership with marvel on the uh on on the shoes i thought that was awesome as well um and so you can see he's watching the space and he's coming to vivi's defense actually so he's they, they trying to, she just said a question that tried to make david look kind of crazy even though she looked crazy like but like that that was a crate that was a wild question and then he comes up with the knowledge of vv and, and what david's doing like shout out to them shout out to will and uh, we have our own plans for for physicals as well and i think uh it, it'd be nice if we can you know tie that that flywheel so that folks that discover via the physical can discover through the, the the physical and then enjoy the digital and folks that discover through the digital can then you know it, you know get their physical products as well i do th and this is nothing new if we go back all the way to the interview with al khan he was the one talking about stuff was physicals was going to be in walmart and stuff like that no we're still not at that stage because the digital is so complicated i'm pretty sure they well they we know that they never expected the digital to be this complicated and for this this process to be this hard but yeah like come on now come on now i think it's 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 one of those and things it's not an or thing it's never been 
I think for 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 David and I, because I you know I've I've listened to David speak before, it's never been a physical versus digital. It's been physical and digital and ways that they can complement just the joy of collecting um and fandom so i i think there's multiple approaches to it and whichever you start with but i think it's fair to say both both vv and cryptoys are, are bullish on the tie-in between physical and digital for sure all right i've got one more question i want to ask and then we need to get to community questions i'm mad they kind of cut off david he was he was like he was he was cooking they cut off david when he was cooking and i'm not happy about that so we gonna end the video here y'all it looks like they finna move on to something else and maybe maybe what they're talking about next is going to be worth another video we'll see but yeah, um, that, that that was crazy. That was crazy. But this was actually a really good video. A really good video from David actually speak. He was talking. He was he was talking. So yeah, let me know what y'all think um, in the comments down below, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.